Good evening, people of God. God bless you. I don't know what was going on. Um, I'm having technical difficulties. But please uh, share this as you come on tonight. Please share it as you come on tonight. Blessings to you, woman of God. Thank you for joining me tonight. Amen. And uh, we got a topic tonight that's very unpopular. Of course, it's not a popular topic. Uh, again, this is Kevin Bailey. I'm with Touch Up the Master Healing Ministries International in the great city of Indianapolis. So as you come on, please share the video tonight. Please share it. And if the music is too loud, let me know. Let me cut it down. But let me just let this play real quick. Uh, I don't want the rights to this music. Amen. Please come on in tonight. And hopefully you enjoyed the teaching a couple of days ago. Yeah, there's serious topics that um, we need to deal with. God bless you. Thank you for joining tonight. Uh, even when we talk about the immorality in the church, uh, I won't even go back there. Uh, and how we dress in the pulpit and, you know, the tight pants, the breasts all out, all this stuff. You know what? Yeah, it's no room for that when, when we're part of a body that is a holy body. And do you think Jesus shed his blood for that? The Bible just says, be modest in apparel. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to just leave that alone. All right, so please share as you come on tonight. Please share this. Amen. And hopefully uh, you can go back and look at that video about uh, fleeing from sexual immorality. Amen. And I know the devil has told people, love who you want and all that, but I ain't going to talk about that tonight. I want to talk about the witchcraft and I, by the grace of God, uh, we're going to pray tonight. But I want to talk about uh, the dangers of playing with Ouija boards. And some of us may have done it and innocent, but by the grace of God, I'm going to teach uh, a little bit about it. I'm just going to be a few minutes and then we're going to pray. Um, but I want to share with you what you have opened yourself up to when you play with the Ouija board. Okay. So give it just a few minutes to build. Amen. And please share this for the audience to build. Periscope acts up on me and it be showing the camera be turned around and everything, but amen. Uh, listen, and those, oh, I meant to share this the last time. Please subscribe to us at Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International at YouTube. Go out there to YouTube. A lot of these videos are on YouTube. Please go out there and subscribe to Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International. All right. Uh, after the video, you'll see a lot of these videos. There's a, a wealth of teaching on deliverance and just various topics uh, on uh, YouTube. So, Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International. Uh, go to YouTube and subscribe. It'll be a blessing to you. Also, if you are in need of personal deliverance, please email us at touchofthemaster888 at yahoo.com if you are in need of personal deliverance. Hey, Apostle Deborah, thank you for coming on tonight. Amen. God bless you. It's been a while. Woman of God, I got to call you. Yeah, we got to talk. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to, you know, I have a tendency to talk about the things that the church don't want to talk about. Amen. But we got to talk about it. We got to be about it and we got to talk about it in this hour. Amen. Amen. All right, well, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for these, your people. I speak blessings, strength, and great grace over them in Jesus' name. And I bind and break supply lines connected with witchcraft and occultic involvement in Jesus' name. And I break the jokes of every familiar spirit in Jesus' name, every medium spirit. I decree that you are blocked and bound in Jesus' name. And let the word in Jesus' name begin to implode and infuse their hearts, their mind, and their spirit spirit in Jesus name can bring insight, deliverance and breakthrough because your word is already anointed in Jesus name. I silence all demonic altars connected with witchcraft, bonfires, seething pots. I overturn them in the realm of the spirit and the blood of Jesus is against you. 
in Jesus name and I break uh, diabolical powers and assignments subverting activities that have been set against you from occultic involvement into demonic realms in Jesus name and Lord we thank you and bless you and love you and praise you and I declare the blood in Jesus name rest upon your people all those that are viewing this on the night rest upon your people in Jesus name from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet and I decree that you will give insight in revelation and wisdom and knowledge and understanding in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Amen. All right. Let's talk about this tonight. I want to talk about some of the dangers of the Ouija board. Some may have played with these Ouija boards uh, as a child unknowingly and innocently, but I want to talk to you about tonight where the Ouija board is derived from, where it's come from, and even what it looks like, all right? And then I'm going to go to the scriptures, and then we're going to pray, okay? All right, so y'all stay with me on tonight. So, hey, listen, if you got to cough them up, cough them up. Get you some paper towels or get a trash can, let, you know, cough them on up. And if you have never been through deliverance uh, for it, uh, somebody, too, I need somebody to moderate and block of people that's acting a fool. I don't have time for that. And it's witches on here. I command you to be bound, gagged, and muzzled, and mute, and paralyzed in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, uh, in Jesus' name, amen. You ain't more powerful than Jesus. Okay. Amen. So, and the reality is you need to get saved on tonight. Amen. You need to experience the power of the death, burial, and resurrection and ascension. Yeah, I'm going to teach from the scriptures, but the reality is that you need salvation. You need a hope. Other than that, you walk around on death row. You're waiting to die. So some of you, you need to come to Christ. Amen. And you need to receive him in the pardon of your sins and ask for forgiveness and acknowledge that you are a sinner and receive him by faith into your heart and make a confession with your mouth. Amen. And, and believe that he... Uh, died. He was uh, beat, wounded on the cross for you. His blood was shed. He was put in the grave. He died and he rose again on the third day. Amen. That's the gospel. All right. But I want to talk about the occultic involvement and some of the things that many believers that uh, Christians today, they have came to Christ, but something is sealed off. Let me give you some of the symptoms uh, when you have connected with the Ouija board. First of all, there is two spirits called a shaman and Ronin spirit. These are spirit guides that you call to. It's called a spirit guide. Many a times when you are playing with this, these spirits, it opens you up to an occult rim. All right. Occultic rim. And then these demons infiltrate you. So if you have let your children play with it, repent. If you have one in your house, get rid of them. Some will have dream catchers and all types of foolishness in their house. It's supposed to ward off uh, evil spirits, be good luck and all this. Uh, you need to just go ahead and cough them up. It ain't going to do nothing for you, but bring bondage into your house. And if you have one, you need to take it down. Amen. Because again, it's connected with an occultic rim and it's to communicate with the dead. Amen. All right. So the Ouija board was created in about the 1800s uh, as an interest for spiritualism. Everybody say spiritualism. All right. It is also called a spirit board. It is simply a game board with numerals, alphabet, and yes and no on it. And it's printed on it. That's what it looks like. It also has what they call a pointer, which is used to spell out words and to uh, answer questions. It's called a pointer. Okay. It's a little bit of an ugly looking thing. It's a pointer that's on that board. Amen. And also um, the Ouija. Also, let me share what Ouija means. Ouija means good luck. All right. Now. If you are connected with Christ, uh, why would you need to know your future? Also, fortune telling is connected with this as well. Why would you need to know what your future is besides coming to Christ and following God? Are y'all with me on tonight? Because many get caught up into that. But it means the Ouija board means Ouija means good luck. So they often use this board to communicate 
Are y'all listening to me tonight? To communicate with the dead. That's what the Ouija board is used for. So many of you, you need to renounce it and get rid of the spirit of death. Why would you communicate with the dead? And I'm going to go to the scriptures real quick in uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 8, 19. Let me show y'all this. And then I'm going to show you the disadvantages of connected uh, or talking to the dead. There is no advantages to that. Look, leave the dead dead. Amen. Amen. Leave the dead dead. All right. Uh, Isaiah 8 and 19 says this, and I'm going to explain to you about the mediums and, and everything. Okay. All right. The mediums, uh, I'll get to that in a second. And that is the person, of course, who, uh, summonses the dead and the evil spirits. All right. You know how some of y'all saying, well, I think I seen my grandmother, I seen my mother, I seen my father. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate. My heart go out to you. They died. They gone. Listen, they dead. I'm going to show you in the scripture what the Bible says about that. Amen. But listen, if they dead in Christ, they're going to come back with Christ. How about that? You'll see them again. When you get to heaven, you'll see them. All right. One of the two. All right. Let me read this in Isaiah 8 and 19. It says that when they say to you, seek those who are mediums and wizards who whisper and mutter, should not the people seek their God? Should they seek the dead on behalf of the living? This is in Isaiah chapter eight and verse 19. Look what verse 20 says to the law and to the testimony. If they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Share the video. <laughs> Come on, pump those hearts. Give me some hearts on tonight. Yeah, give me some love. <laughs> No, I know I ain't going to get a lot of love tonight, but God told me to do it. I don't come on here unless the Holy Spirit is inspiring me. Let's read verse 21. It says, they will pass through it hard pressed and hungry, and it shall happen when they are hungry, and they will be enraged and curse their king and their God. And look upward. This is basically, they make no reference to God. They blame God for what's happening to them. And they make no reference to God. No fear for God, no reference to God. And the Bible says that they look upward. Amen. And then they will look to the earth and see trouble and darkness, gloom and anguish, and they will be driven into darkness. That's in Isaiah. So them, the dangers are connected with mediums, wizards. Are y'all listening to me? And they mutter, chant, seances. All of it is demonic. And when you play with this a Ouija board, this is what you are connecting with. You are, you are seeking or consulting the dead uh, concerning the living, trying to get some wisdom or trying to get uh, a revelation of your future and everything. Why can't you just read the word of God? Let me tell you this. Ephesians chapter one and chapter two will tell you who you are in Christ. Once you're in Christ, those that don't know Jesus in a part of their sins, then you need to receive Jesus. All right. If you want that opportunity, you can email us and someone will call you and take you through that process. Okay. All right. Those who don't know Jesus in the pardon of their sin. Listen, a Ouija boy can't tell you where you're going. All right. And what it'll do is cause you to live a life of hell and woe unto those who lives a life of hell and then go to hell. I know some of you religious devils, I know, say, well, apostle cussing. Yeah. The reality is, why would you want to do that? Do you realize what you are opening up yourself to? You open yourself uh, up to occultism. You open yourself up uh, to uh, familiar spirits. Let's go to Leviticus real quick. Familiar spirits and mediums. Leviticus chapter 19 and 31 says this. It says, give no regards to mediums and familiar spirits. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord, your God. So when you seek at the medium and evil spirits, defilement is what's released upon you. Defilement. It defiles you. Are y'all with me on today? Can y'all hear me? Watch this. In verse 27 of Leviticus chapter 20, um, let me go to Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 27. It says, a man or a woman, 
Leviticus 20 and 27. Write these scriptures down and go look at them. It says, a man or a woman who is a medium or who has a familiar spirit shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. There shall be blood. Their blood shall be upon them. So this was taken serious when you dabbled in witchcraft. When you dabble in witchcraft, again, it releases the spirit of death onto you. Listen, and many of you, uh, no matter how innocent it seems, playing with the Ouija board, it opens your soul up, your mind, will, intellect, and emotions to demons. Are y'all listening to me? And some of you, it is seared your conscience, and you actually believe in it. Get rid of your Kabbalah books and your magic books and jewelry and music and also your Ouija boards, dream catchers. The Bible condemns it. Acts chapter 19 and 19, go and put them all in a pile and burn them up because guess what? And renounce it and come on to Christ because you're going nowhere. You're going nowhere with that stuff. All it is and all it will do is open you up to darkness. Amen. Look what uh, verse Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 6 says. Leviticus 20 and verse 6. Look what it says. And the person who turns to mediums and familiar spirits to prostitute himself with them, I will set my face against that person and cut him off from his people. This is what it say. Leviticus 20 and 6. All right, so we are not to connect with familiar spirits, mediums, and I'm going to share with you what they are, okay? And I believe, uh, also, let me share this to you. There's a book by Edmund C. Gruss, G-R-U-S-S, Edmund C. Gruss. Get that book and read it. It's called The Ouija Board, The Doorway to... The occult. The Ouija board or doorway to the occult. Okay? It's by Edmund C. Gross. Listen, by the way, the occult means um it's a, the the cult is the definition of the cult is this. It's of or relating to supernatural influences, agencies, or phenomenons or available only to initiate a secret. So the occult is connected to a secret. So only the medium or the uh, the witch or warlock or whoever is doing this has access to this. But this is what they open you up to. The Im supernatural influences that are demonic, they may even say something to you that could be true, but it's from the wrong uh, spirit realm. It's from the wrong realm and the wrong spirit. And no Christian that is a Christian should be playing with Ouija boards or allowing our children, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, allowing your children to play with these Ouija boards or to play with Dungeons and Dragons too. Don't allow your kids to play with those games. And also I looked at one other thing. Kids that indulge themselves in this, they hear voices. Yeah, and many people, they hallucinate, and many of them committing suicide. Yeah, because the evil spirits are influencing them and telling them kill themselves. Are y'all with me? We should never be playing with the Ouija board. Amen? All right, a medium. What is a medium, apostle? What is a medium? A medium consults the dead. Listen to me closely. For the person. So it engages and it consults the dead. You know, your dead relatives and, you know, the people who say that you had a dream about or they came and talked to you or they touched you. That was a devil. That ain't your relatives. That is, and there ain't you know, even no such thing as ghosts. Them are demons. Okay? That's what a medium does. It consults the dead for a person and unlocks or opens an occultic realm to you. Okay. Familiar spirit. Look at this. Look at this. Listen to this. Familiar spirits. It says this is European folklore uh, or belief of medieval early modern periods. Familiar spirits are believed to be supernatural entities 
that assists witches and is cunning in their practices of magic. That's a familiar spirit. They are believed to be supernatural entities that assist witches and cunning in their practice of magic. All right. No believer or no Christian shall be indulging in uh, occultism, witchcraft, fortune telling. You should not be indulging in that. ESP, tea leaves. Usually if they have the Ouija board there or the kids are playing with it, listen, brotherhood, spirits, all of that stuff, you should not be indulging in that. Magic, fortune telling, palm reading, all of that. It's all connected with, with you know, uh, consulting the dead and opening you up to occultic activity. All right? There's no light in that. All right? And so you don't need to be consulting with the dead. Let me give to you what the word of God says about the dead, about the dead. Look what it says. Ecclesiastes chapter nine and verse five. Should you be consulting the dead? What, what, do you, what benefit is that? What are you going to get out of consulting the dead? If you want to know your future and know what's to come in your life, you need to connect with God. The Bible says that the plans that he has for you are good plans and, and his thoughts towards you are good thoughts. And his plans is to what? Prosper you. Hello? And to give you a hope and an expected end. Jeremiah 29 and 11. So he gives you a hope and an expected end. There's no dead ends to God. You need to pray and talk to God. Amen? Look what it says about the dead. Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 5. It says, for the living know that they will die. But the dead know nothing, and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also, their love, their hatred, or their envy have now perished. Never will they have a share in anything done under the sun. They gone. They dead. The Bible says that they know nothing. Why would you seek the dead? The Bible says right there that they know nothing. In Ecclesiastes 9 and 5. Let's go to Isaiah. And then we're going we're gonna to wrap it up. We're going to pray. Amen. Isaiah 46. If, if, you want to, if you want counsel, you want wisdom, you want direction, let's look at Isaiah 46 and 9. Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. Let's look at this. Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. Look what it says. Verse 9. It says, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no other. And he says, I am God and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand. His counsel is the only thing that's going to stand. He's the only one that's going to judge you, me, and everyone. And listen, why would you consult the dead when uh, the dead, death, is a time that everyone is going to make? Hebrews 9.27 says that every man has an appointed time to die, and then there's judgment. You're going to die? And then it's going to be judgment. And everybody's going to resurrect somewhere. So those that don't know Christ, I beg you to receive Christ on tonight. Get this thing right. You want to know where you're going and who you are? I just read it to you. His counsel shall stand. My, he said, my counsel shall stand. There is none another like me. And the Bible is clear that he is the first, the last, the beginning, and the end. He's in control. If you want to know your future, you need to connect with God. Psalms 14 and 1 says, woe unto the, uh, to the one that says that there is no God. Some of you think that there is no God. You are, and the Bible calls you a fool if you say it's no God in Psalms 14 and 1. Look, he knows it all. He created you in the womb of your mother. Why won't you go to him and ask him 
what your purpose is. He knitted you in the womb. Just go and read Psalm 139. Read it in its entirety. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, but he knitted you. It talks about how he knits us in the womb of our mothers. He created you. And so if you're created in his image and likeness and to reflect his attributes and ways, then why would you go to a witch or a warlock to find out where you're going in life? Are y'all with me on tonight? Or to find out your future because you don't, you don't understand. My family told me just today, we're going to go to a reading. I said, a reading of what? See, these are the type of curses I deal with. The devil is a lie. You ain't, the only one that's going to read me is the one that created me and that knows, uh, uh, and that is the first and the last, the beginning, the end, the alpha, the omega. It's God. Amen. Ain't nothing the devil can tell me. Because that's who's behind all of that. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. And hopefully you got this. Again, please go to uh, Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International to connect with us on YouTube. And a lot of these videos, but it's a, it's a wealth of videos that's on there that you can view and see. Amen. So let us go ahead and pray. Amen. And remember, oh, also, I'd like to thank all of you who have sold into the book project. Things is going well, but the publishers and editors, they've been under attack. So I challenge everybody, excuse me, to pray uh, because they've been under attack. And sickness is one thing after another. And everybody that has tried to help me has been a fight. So I challenge y'all, uh, those who are connected with me and that's out there on our Facebook and page to pray about this. I'm not asking anybody because I know witches are chatting and praying too. But the devil is a lie. Amen. They're not more powerful than God. Amen. And and listen, you can y'all can they can you welcome to come on on here. But the power that our cast carry is from the Son of God. And it's from the throne of heaven. But it's from the Son of God, Jesus. And nothing supersedes that power in this world. That power. That's within all of us that uh, made that confession and believed in our heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. No power that you carry usurps that power connected to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. And if you want to come to Christ and you don't want nobody even to know on here, amen, email us. We'll call you back your information and we will call you back and take you through the process and pray for you and welcome you into the kingdom of God and send you some material and get a Bible out to you. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pray. I'm going to conclude for the night, but listen, as a believer, you should not be playing with Ouija boards. If you have, we're going to do some renunciations. I'm going to pray for a little bit and we're going to break this yoke. All right. If you are having trouble with breaking through finances or being held, many a times it's witchcraft, it's occulting. So I want you to repeat after me, and then we're going to pray, okay? I want you to repeat this after me. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I renounce the mediums, wizards, and all familiar spirits that came from playing with the Ouija board. In Jesus name, I renounce it. I fall out of agreement with it in Jesus name. I played with this, say I played with this, yet I didn't know Lord. So I ask you to break the yoke connected with the witchcraft and to block any open door that I've opened with the blood of Jesus. Say I renounce it and say I forgive and release all those who have hurt me or wounded me in any kind of way. And Lord, say I repent and fall out of agreement with the worship of the dead, consulting the dead, yet I am living. Say I fall out of agreement with it. And all the folklore, all the myths connected with the Ouija board, say that power shall be broken off of my life 
in the name of Jesus. Say, offer my children's life, offer my life in the name of Jesus. Say, I renounce erroneous beliefs in the Ouija board in Jesus' name. And I renounce the spirit guides and the shaman spirits that have attacked me, that have come against me, or that are blocking me from my blessings because I am in Christ. If you're not in Christ, you need to receive Christ. Amen. Say, because I am in Christ now, I receive the full benefits of being in Christ because he loaded me daily with his benefits in Jesus' name. Say, Lord, I ask you to soak every faculty of my body with the blood in Jesus' name. Say, I renounce fortune telling. Yeah, myths, thoughts, and even the erroneous beliefs in Jesus' name. Said that power shall be broken. And all familiar spirits and the supernatural entities and the sisters to witches. Yes, through consulting this Ouija board, said those supply lines and every diabolical power incantation through association with the Ouija board is broken by the authority of Jesus name. Amen. Say, if I want to know my future, I will call upon the Lord according to Jeremiah 33 and three, because say the word of God says, if I call unto him, he will show me great and mighty things which I know it's not. Say, I refuse to consult any demonic uh, cultism and any mediums or altars that are connected with the Ouija board. Say, they should be silenced from this point on. And I raise an altar of God, of righteousness, of holiness in Jesus' name, of joy, of peace, it through the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Say, Lord, purge me as I have forgiven everyone, but I renounce anger or rejection or hurts or pains, anxiety, fear, and even the spirit of death or suicide. Say, I renounce it. I fall out of agreement with it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, let's pray. Let's just take a few minutes. Uh, just take a few deep breaths real quick. I'm just going to pray for a few minutes. And we're going to tell these spirits to leave. Amen. Uh, if you if you can, get you some paper towels. And listen, just breathe out and release them and let them go. All right? Let them go. Relax and let them go. I'm going to command them to leave in Jesus' name. And I'm not going to do anything. Amen. All right, repeat, all right? So you don't have to say anything. I'm just going to pray. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your precious daughters and sons that are viewing on tonight. I release the power of the Holy Spirit and angelic assaults uh, in the realm of the Spirit to all witchcraft, all shaman spirits in Jesus' name, all spirit gods. I break your power by the authority of Jesus' name. And I release uh, prophetic and apostolic rebukes in the realm of the Spirit in Jesus' name. And I release the sword of the Lord in Jesus name to purge uh, your precious people in Jesus name. And I decree in Jesus name that they shall be strong in the Lord and all of his might. I bind backlash, hit the tax to retaliation in Jesus name. And I decree that as the enemy has tried to come in like a flood, the spirit of the living God shall raise a standard against him in Jesus name. Now I release the authority of the blood in Jesus name, the word and the spirit. And I release the anointing. I release the anointing. The anointing shall break every yoke, break every yoke. The anointing in Jesus name, the breaker uh, goes forth. It goes before you to break you free, to break every chain of occultic involvement in Jesus name. Now I command every occultic spirit through secrets, through incantation, through illegal entities, link yourselves together and come out of them. Take a deep breath now. Let it go. Go now in Jesus' name. Go now. Go now. All the way out. Go 
in Jesus' name. And I command every familiar spirit, every wizardry spirit, I command it by the authority of Jesus' name to come out in Jesus' name. All spirits of rage, anger, rebellion, stubbornness, come out by the authority of Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. All spirits of unforgiveness, bitterness, come on, resentment, self-hatred, perceived rejection and rejection, come out by the authority of Jesus' name. Come on, out of the bowels, out of the legs, out of the feet. And I command the tea leaf spirits and ESP and fortune telling and white, black, and contagious magic, I command it now to come out of the ears Come out of the eyes. Come on, out of the legs, out of the chest. Come on, cough it up, blow it out. Come on, blow it out or cough it out. Come on, go in Jesus' name. I bind and cast you out in Jesus' name. And I rebuke the empty shell. And I decree that the walls of your mind shall melt, that you'll receive the deliverance from these occultic spirits, these spirits of the dead in Jesus' name. Spirits of death, hallucination, suicides. I command you now by the authority of Jesus' name to come out in Jesus' name. Go now. Go idolatry or erroneous beliefs and doctrines come out in Jesus' name. Spirits connected with folklore and myths come out by the authority of Jesus' name. And I break the incantation in Jesus' name and the supply lines in Jesus' name and communication with the Ouija board. And I command all spirit guys, link yourselves together and come out in Jesus' name. Out of the hands, out of the eyes, out of the legs, out of the back. Come on, all the way out of the back. Come out in Jesus' name, all the way out. Come on, nightmares, terrors, come on, all the way out. Vampire spirits, come out in Jesus' name. Go now, go in Jesus' name. And I command all spirits of divination in Jesus' name to come out in Jesus' name. Witchcraft, pythons, come out from fortune telling. Come on, all the way out. Come out, fortune telling demons in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Go now. Go. Medium spirits, familiar spirits, link yourselves together and come out of them in Jesus' name. Out of the feet, out of the legs, and I command sickness and infirmity from witchcraft and involvement. I command sickness and disease and infirmity. Come out in Jesus' name. And I command you to be healed and that the blood penetrates every faculty of your body, the blood of Jesus. Lord, soak them in the blood. Soak your people in the blood of Jesus. Soak them in the blood in Jesus' name. I break every spell, jinx, hex, in Jesus' name. I break it, every spell, every jinx, every hex, every vex. I break it in Jesus' name, and I command them to come out of you. Now, in Jesus' name, I decree that you should no longer be snared by these spells and that you will come to your senses and be loosed from the devil. In Jesus' name, loose them and let them go. Loose, 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 loose in Jesus' name. Go, and I break every chain and even headaches or demons causing pain. I command you to come out of the left side, the right side, the back of the mind, and I command your neurotransmitters to be healed, to be restored in Jesus' name. All spirits of bitterness, all spirits of unforgiveness in Jesus' name, resentment, self-hatred, low self-image, low self-esteem, come out. In Jesus' name, all spirits of fantasy and wanting to know your future and dabbling into the secrets and the cults, I command those secrets, come on, all the way out. Come out in Jesus' name. Go now in Jesus' name. Go, 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 go. All demonic phenomena, all omens, come on, come out in Jesus' name. And I close the doorway and the vortex that these demons have traveled through, I block them with the blood of Jesus. And I decree that the blood... In Jesus' name, covers you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, bless your people. Strengthen your people. I speak grace and strength over these, your people. In Jesus' name. And I thank you in Jesus' name. I thank you right now for your power being released, your anointing being released, and that their lives will never be the same. We give you praise for it on tonight. In Jesus' name, 
Amen and amen and amen. All right. God bless all of you on tonight. Thank you all for joining me tonight. I'm probably going to come back on in a day or two and we're going to talk about uh, tarot cards and things like that. But listen, you should not be involved with the witchcraft. If you want a direct appointment, remember, email us. And again, if you like the soul, just uh, it's in the bio. Go to AP Kevin B. Uh, cash app it. Uh, seed for the book or a uh, PayPal. It is same as AP Kevin B. If you would like to, so we appreciate that. God, uh, we know that God will bless you for that. Um, and we're headed to a deadline date. It is finished. The manuscript is ready. We're editing now. We're on course, but it's been some attacks. But again, thank all of you for sewing and thank you for taking time out tonight and joining me on tonight. God bless all of you and thank you uh, for joining me.